All right, I'm standing in front of the skyline of Bellevue, Washington. Next week, we begin Jupiter and Neptune's conjunction. They're gonna last a few months, actually, because the Earth moves a whole lot faster than either Jupiter or Neptune. But it reminded me of back in 2020 when I first invented the saying, single lives matter. What had happened was I went out to view a lunar eclipse on the 4th of July. I went to Ellensburg, Washington that time. It was cloudy here in Bellevue, if I remember correctly. But um, I was working on tutoring. It was remote, obviously. Uh, I was teaching at a university. I was teaching an evening class. And um, I raced back and forth. I went looking for places that I could do my tutoring. You got to remember, this is July 2020. You couldn't exactly go into a Starbucks and sit down. I had to look for somewhere where there was an outlet that was like outdoors and had Wi-Fi. And I scrambled looking for it. And um, I made all my appointments, and that's good. But a couple days later, my coworker calls me and says that she had a family emergency and asked if I could fill in. And I'm thinking to myself, gee, the other night when I went to view the eclipse, why couldn't you fill in for me? And it just felt very unfair. It kind of reminded me of Toy Story 3 when, um, when Andy's toys were first lost at the daycare center, and they were beaten up by these young kids and then they got to see the other toys that were being handled by older kids and they got better treatment. I, I felt really like that when I experienced what happened back on July 4th, 2020. Now around the same time, everybody was protesting about George Floyd. And so I, I was so upset before I even realized it, I, I shouted out, single lives matter. And here I am two years later still using it. But I, I have gotten better treatment over the last two years to the credit of all my peers.